Today, I want to talk to you about the latest firmware update for the Rodecaster video. There are a number of new features, but I'm going to focus on the two that I am most excited about. First, you can now round the corners of images. And second, you can use your iPhone as a wireless camera using the Rode Connect app, which is free. I'll also mention some of the other updates but I'll leave links to tutorials and more in-depth uh, videos in the description down below. One of the simplest but surprisingly useful updates is the ability to round the corners of your images, especially when you're using picture in picture. Uh, before you were stuck with those sharp edges, which honestly look kind of dated. And I also think that they help separate that picture in picture from the background because everything else is so modular already. It's a, it's a small detail, but it makes a big difference when you try to make your production look more professional. Now, the second feature is a big one. You can now use your iPhone as a camera through the network using the Road Connect app, and that's using it as an NDI camera. This is super handy because it means that you don't need a capture card or extra gear. You just connect your phone and suddenly you've got another camera angle. Uh, it's perfect if you want flexibility when you're filming on the go. And once I got it working, it was awesome. Now, I'll admit, it took me a while to get things going. And here's what happened. My Mac Studio was already connected through an Ether cable to my router. And my Rodecaster video was connected to my Mac through a USB cable and from the Rodecaster video connects to the internet through there. I can download files and things like that. So I took that hooking it up to the ether ethernet to mean that I was good to go. And I did all kinds of troubleshooting. The thing that I just kept missing was I needed to connect it directly to the router in order for it to work. So after hours of troubleshooting, still nothing. At that point, I went back and started watching other videos very carefully. But it was it was actually Robbie Sumantri's video, the Roadcaster video, Roadcaster video NDI update changes game forever, where he explicitly said, if you don't connect your Roadcaster directly to the router via Ethernet, it won't work. And he also added that he connected his his laptop via Ethernet, which a bell went off and I made the connection, but I'm bump pun intended, is he used two cables. So I realized now that I needed to connect my router directly to the Rodecaster video. The other one, I, I could I can leave it connected via Ethernet to my uh, to my Mac, but that wasn't the important part. The important part was getting this directly connected uh, via Ethernet to the Rodecaster video. So after I realized that, I ordered a 50 foot ethernet cable and the next day it came and I was able to plug it in and everything worked perfectly. But I'll leave links in the comments to Rode's own instructional videos so that you can dive deeper if you want the full breakdown. These aren't the only new features. There's a lot more, but rather than running through all of them, I'll leave links in the description down below to Rode's own instructional videos. And I almost forgot to mention the way you can use it is you can actually use both. You can actually use both cameras, the front camera and a back camera at the same time for a dual uh, video camera. So you can have an interview with someone and, and sit this right in the middle and sit right across from them and you record yourself and the other person. And so I've tried this out on an iPhone 11 and an iPhone 12 and they work perfectly. Not a problem whatsoever. This is just a crude demonstration to show how I can use the front facing camera and the side and the selfie facing camera in order to record a to record both myself and possibly someone I'm interviewing. OK, I can do this both picture in picture and I can do a split screen as you're seeing here. So th this is just totally amazing. And the recording that I'm showing you right here was recorded with my other cell phone. So I actually had two iPhones connected at the same time using them wirelessly. And this is the result I got. I don't really know much about the, I didn't pay much attention to the lip syncing. I'm sure there'll be some adjustments that need to be made, but as I'm using them as secondary cameras, and this is just amazing. And again, this all comes in as a free update. So if you've updated your Rodecaster video um, and you try some of these out, I'd love to know what your favorites are. A lot of people say that this is too expensive, but 
So I just replaced my iPhone 11 with an iPhone 12, and that cost me $225. I don't need the latest and greatest iPhone, which I believe they're at the 16 now. Um, so I'm good here spending uh, money on a used iPhone and getting the latest and greatest from Rode, which just keeps getting better and better every day. I mean, since I purchased this thing, they've added uh, connectivity to the Stream Deck. And now I can use my iPhone as a webcam and... I thought the rounded pictures should have been there from the beginning, but they've added that now. So, I mean, I'm a happy camper because this just keeps getting better and better.